your next guy. Go on ahead. So I've got Tristan Elvano, the guy who broke our hearts and won our hearts <laughs> at the same time last year. I'd say our hearts were more broken by him. Um, but what do you expect from a freshman? I mean, yes, yeah. he has the potential. I think there were some things that impacted him mentally early on in the season, some things that would have boosted his confidence that would have paid dividends throughout the rest mm -hmm. of the year. If we can figure out how to get this guy started with some good rapport and a really positive impact early on in the season, I think he is going to pay dividends for the rest of the season. Um, he's just got raw talent. Now what he, now what he needs is just a, a mentality of steel because that's really what you do as a place kicker and a punter and whatnot. Mm -hmm. You have to have nerves of steel and you have yeah. to have an impenetrable focus, which I don't get how they do it. My heart races when I'm just thinking about talking to my boss about something. <laughs> I think I'm going to get fired. And uh, and these guys have to sit in front of crowds of tens of thousands of people and have to have just a fine-tuned mechanic. They have one job, <laughs> right. and that's to kick the damn ball, which some people <laughs> think is super simple. That's not simple at all. That's a very no. difficult task. And so I, I I can't help but think that our our season really does kind of rely on what kind of jump can Alvano make in the place kicking uh in the mm -hmm. place kicking game. Um I I'd like to think that he has most impact, but Ultimately, I think our bugaboos really do rely more on our offensive proficiency and then our defense being able to maintain consistency. Mm -hmm. So do I think he has the most impact? No, which is hard to say because I feel like in, in years past, our biggest thorn in our side has been our special teams. But yeah. I really think that what our coaching staff has got going on on all three phases of, of the football game the weight on this guy's shoulder is going to be less going into this year. I truly believe mm -hmm. that. So mm -hmm. I'd say he has a good impact. And I just hope, I just hope that he, like I said, I just hope that he can start off the season right and he can carry that through for the rest of the season. So I'd say he has a good impact. Well, I'm with you. I'm, I'm in the good impact train as well. I think um, he's got the leg. 55 yarder and that was not an easy kick um he's 9 and 15 so he didn't have too many opportunities to miss only 15 on the year so um i'm not sure why he only attempted 15 i'm pretty sure he was in field goal range a few times and we ended up going for it on fourth down because maybe the coaches didn't have confidence i hope he earns some confidence this year especially since i think there's a walk-on uh, recruited from somewhere here in the state who's also got a cannon for a leg who's coming in to compete with him. So he's going to get some competition at the spot. Um, yeah, I think he makes good impact, though. I think he goes better than nine for 15. I'd say he makes 15 kicks out of 20 this year. So that's a little bit better. So he makes good impact. Gets a job done. Yeah, I'd say I'd say he probably goes 16 out of 20. 20 for or 60 yeah 16 for 20 um yeah so just one, one more one more and that's one the more, difference one more. Between us, hey, uh, you've talked, between you've us talked me into it i'm going 16 for 22 do i hear 17 do i hear oh sorry anybody in the right. comments think he goes 17 <laughs> and gets a, a crisp 80 percent proficiency or do you think uh sound off in the comments too if you think maybe somebody actually beats him out Oh. And he doesn't actually get the starting job. He's got a big leg, though. He should be our kickoff guy for sure.